again. Take Number two. Two, one. Hello, my name is Mike. And I'm Steve. And you are watching Comics TV. This is show number 12 of our 13 week season. And we are happy. Very excited to be there here. There are um, a couple of different things we're doing this week. Obviously, we're standing here, which you've never seen us stand before. Yes. Uh, we're short, I'm tall. That doesn't make a difference <laughs> because I'm better looking. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we've got uh, uh, some different plans. Uh, we're going to be doing this hopefully every week. Uh, this weekend, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Last weekend was uh, the um, show at the fairgrounds. We'll tell you about that next week. Yeah. Uh, we have to get everything together. We have an interview this week with uh, a man named Bumper from Annapolis, Maryland, who owns the three largest comic book stores in Maryland. We have an interview with him. It's proved pretty interesting. He's got some good inside scoops for everybody to learn about and hear. So. Okay, and we've got um, all our normal reviews, previews. Convention mentions, um, news, everything, news, sports, and weather. I got a special card for everybody. He's to got see a special today. card that nobody in the entire world has ever seen. No, that's a lie. But actually, um, actually no, they're very limited. But um, uh, I want to quickly tell you that there are there are a couple other shows claiming to be comic book related. Um, don't do that. Oh, sorry. Um, we have the only show that is related just to the comic book industry. Yes. That's all we do, comics and cards that are related to comics, nothing else. We don't do science fiction. We don't do really Star Trek, although we did our Star Trek convention because that was a little special. Yeah, that was special. It was there in Buffalo for three months. So. Uh, we, we don't do any Dungeons and Dragons, anything Computer like that. Computer games, Nintendo. Sega. We, don't we don't do, do anything, anything but like comic that. books and the comic book industry. Yeah. There's some other shows. We're not going to mention anything. Uh, if you see him, fine. Can't mention? No, <laughs> because we're the best. Yes. We've been on the longest. We're the best. We're growing. We're going to be, within a couple weeks, we're going to be on Adelphia and Jones, and everybody there will be watching us. Pretty soon we'll have all of Western New York covered, and we're going to go for New York State. We're going to try and cover all of New York. You've seen the rest, and I'll sit back and enjoy the best. Okay. In one second, we're going to go, and uh, we'll do our reviews, previews, news, and everything. Yes. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Lock us up, throw us away, throw the key away for us, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. You see the rest? Now taste the best. Now taste the best. You've had the rest. Now, oh, I need that chair. Oh, shut up. I gotta dig that card out before we start, okay? That I heard today. Rooster. Excuse you. I need that leg. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm set. We all set. Got levels and everything again. There's the top five. It's going again. How's the lighting? Lighting's good. All right. Good. You're a little you're over eighty. Eighty? You're in agreement. Well when you sit down you get a little bit more because you're sure it's like you know the problem we're getting is the door doesn't reflect enough to back out. Yeah. That a little bit better? Alright. Yeah, be careful. I don't want to drop him. That's your dad. That one is that too. What the hell is your dad going for? Same reason his father did. Well, that? see, Nor now if we were big enough, we'd have people that stood there and held him. That just blinds us. Oh, okay. Okay, let's. Take off. We're we're rolling. Yeah. Okay. You want to count down? Okay. Where are we? We did the intro. We're gonna go into the news. Okay. Ready? Sure. Let's do it. Two, one, go. Okay. And we're gonna start with our week in news. Uh, adding to adding to the sudden glutton of music comics, Malibu has announced Rocket Comics. Uh, it's almost spelled like Comics TV, but they have an I in there. Uh, these are fully authorized books 
which will be similar to the new Marvel line. Each issue will include an illustrated story and can include photos, interviews, and fan letters. Metallica will be the first title, and cool. it'll span three issues. It's going to be a fully authorized uh, biography of them. Subsequent titles include Ozzy, Lita Ford, Megadeth, and Pantera. Cool. Guess what's coming to the big screen? What? Casper, Holy. the friendly ghost. A live action movie of the lovable ghost is in planning stages with Australian director Alex Prias. Proyas, that's the one, working with Universal Pictures. Um, Did you catch uh, Lois and Clark over the weekend? I got the chance to catch it, and uh, I liked it. It's similar to the old Superman series, but better graphics, better color, better acting. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, I won't watch it every week, but it wasn't bad. I had to catch Should it be just, around to, for a while. just to check it out. Yeah. Uh, the Fantastic Four movie now has a scheduled release date of October 26th. That should be interesting. And I know Stan Lee saw it. He said that it, it was good, but it wasn't what uh, people would expect. So take it or leave it. Well, going back to the new Lois and Clark. Yeah, the new Lois and Clark series started a few days back. We'll be giving our review, which we did already, <laughs> on what we think about it. Uh, yeah, we already did that. We already did that, so. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, that's about all the news we got. We uh, haven't done too much this week. Uh, why don't you give the top five or six, whatever you got, okay. weekly sellers. This was the top five sales of Annapolis, Maryland for the three largest stores like I mentioned before. This is a little different. A little different. Um, at number five, Plasm. Number two, it seems they just can't keep it in the stores up there. Hottest seller out Plasm. there. Plasm. Plasm. At number four, Daredevil. Number 321, Fall from Grace, Chapter 2. It's another book that's very hard to keep into the stores. I know I read chapter one, it was really interesting. I didn't get a chance to read chapter two up here yet, which I will, and I will review it for you. Number three, Adventures of Superman, number 31. I will be reviewing that one today, and a phenomenal book. Adventures, Avengers, number 366, the gold cover. I will be reviewing that one also, a hot book. And number one, X-Men 2099, the unlimited series. That one's he supposed won't be to be reviewing the that one, hottest. Yes, I will, I have that one too. Of course, Steve, of Steve course. is reviewing all the top books. I'm reviewing all the top books this week, so to tell you what I think of them. All right. Um, let's Why go. don't you start? <laughs> I will start. Okay. Okay, we've got our reviews for this week. My first one here is Donna Matrix. This is number one from Reactor Comics. Uh, we already previewed this a few weeks back. This is by Mike Sienes with uh, Computer Imaging by Norm Dwyer. It's 295 full color as you can see here. Uh, the art is very good. Let's find something else. When, when you here. find some art. <laughs> Just trying to find a good page. It's, it's very good. Uh, I was impressed with the initial pictures from it and seeing this I could tell that it, it was good. We uh, it's using 3D modeling which um, uh, pre creates these pictures which uh, look quite real they look almost like photographs and um, the only problem I had was it, I thought the story was a little thin and uh, could have used a little a little better story it was a Terminator type story uh, and it, I think it'd pick it up just for the artwork it I'd give that at least a two star yeah I got to read it myself and I enjoyed the artwork myself also but like Mike said the story is a little bit far-fetched and a little bit thin but Go out and buy it. For my first one, I'm going with Superman number 31. The artwork in this one was very, very, very good. It's getting back to Superman coming back to life. Yes, I'll give you some artwork in one second here. Superman. Uh, Superman, the real Superman coming back to life and starting out as a usual superhero. He doesn't have full power yet. Um, slowly, he's building up to getting his full powers again. He goes back to Lois Lane, he kissy kissy, huggy huggy. You know, the true love love life of Superman, which would be probably a next series, The Love Life of Superman. But well, Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark, there they, you go. They but kiss. This one was, I highly recommend this one. It was a really good reading. It's going to be a really good series to follow. I know the two other Supermen are having their own series, uh, Man of Steel and the Superboy. They're all wimps. Um, but this one was very good, and I would recommend this one. I gave this one a two also. Did you? Yes. Okay. This one here I've got, my next one. This is called Streets. This is number one of four. It's from DC Comics. It's by James Hudnell and John Estes. Uh, the art is a little different. 
It's a prestige format, full color, of course. It's a bit pricey at $4.95, but uh, I think that it's worth it. You look, take a look in here, you see uh, the people look real. Uh, they look like people that you, you would see on the street. They don't look like just comic book characters. And uh, it, it's pretty good. Um, the story is pretty good, too. Uh, but I figured out what the ending was about three quarters of the way through. <gasps> really? Yeah, it was kind of obvious. Spoiled the book, huh? Yeah, it was kind of obvious what was going to happen there, so I figured that out. But uh, apparently all four issues are intertwined, and it's pretty good. And uh, I've spoken with James Hudnall before, and he's a pretty nice guy. Uh, I give that one a two. Oh, okay. Okay, for my second one, I'm going with Scarlet Number 10. I sort of went off beat, and I grabbed something different, one of the different titles by uh, DC. I like this one. It really, it kept your interest up through the whole book. Um, I never knew that, I'll be honest, I never knew it existed. And when I seen it, I said, well, I'm going to review it. But I like this one. I'm, I'm definitely going to follow this one. The artwork in this one is uh, sort of early-ish, but it's it's pretty good. They got a lot of gore in it, a lot of violence, my type of books, or actually Michael's Scarlet? type of books. Who's Scarlet? Um, Scarlet? It's guy? a, it's, no, actually, it's a different, it's a type of, like X-Men and the Avengers. It's a type of uh, group of people named Scarlet. Okay. It's, it's a pretty interesting book, though. Um, it's only $1.25, which really, really helps out on price. But I would pick this one up. This one was pretty good. I gave this one a three. Three? Good story. Ooh. Really, really good story. This one here, my next one, is very interesting. This is Broyles the Rabbit, number one. It's by Jerry Smith. He's out of Morristown, Tennessee. It's black and white, 21 page. It's a photocopied book. Um, each page is a separate short story about Broyles and his pals, which are Ed and Bon Wallace. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I, I like Bon Wallace, one of our congressmen. I <laughs> oh, it's John so. Wallace. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. I thought this was a very good book. The art I liked for some reason. It's it's a little childish, but for some reason I liked it. And the stories uh, were really good. The only complaint I have is that. Uh, his spelling is not that great. <laughs> he <laughs> lacks in the spelling department. But uh, the cost on this thing, two stamps. That's it. That's it. Cost it. you two cool. stamps for this. Uh, you can s you can send to Jerry Smith at 3344 Horner Drive, Morristown, Tennessee, 37814, or you can write us here, and uh, we'll give you the address. Because for two well, stamps, it's worth. We it. could probably put it on for you and, and flash it for you and let you. Yeah, see I, I think it was it. worth the two stamps. And one of the better books I've read. Okay, my next one. Batman, Detective Comics, number 667. This is the start of the Night Quest series. I started reading this one, and I really like this one. This is going to be like the Nightfall series. It's keeping your interest up. You don't know what's going to happen. It's dealing with the new Batman with his new costume, which you're seeing more and more of him in, in different series. But uh, the only thing I had a complaint about this one is I didn't like the coloring and the art in this one. It just... It didn't appeal to me. A little lackluster? L yeah, a little lack on the luster. Um, Batman now has a new uh, <laughs> is this, uh, rail car. Is this Graham Nolan stuff? This is also Graham Nolan, yes. Graham, I, we still love your art, but this one just lacked it a little bit. Um, he now has a new train car, which hops on tracks. He zips through subways. and It's pretty it's interesting, but like I said, it, it lacks something. I gave this one a two. Did I give anything to this one? Broyles. No. Broyles, I give it three. Ooh. I like Broyles a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, uh, my next one this week is called Lost Laughter. This is number two. It's from Bad Habit Comics. Uh, this book might be tough to find uh, as it's a small press, just like Jerry Smith's was. If you find it, pick it up, though. Uh, very, very good story. Uh, it's a little different. The art is good, and you should like it. And a quote, Lost Laughter. Lost laughter is a force like some giant other dimensional child misplaced tearing through fabrics, fabrics of reality. Fabrics? Like yeah. Fabrics. Um, it's 250, it's black and white. It's by Jeff Nicholson. He did Ultra Klutz a few years back, uh, which is an interesting series. But Lost Laughter, I liked a lot. I give this one a three. Cool. Okay, my next one I'm going with Avengers Gold, number 366. This one was good. It had two separate stories in it. Um, the first story with the Avengers sort of lacked off of Captain America and that. It really didn't hold my interest up. But the second story with Deadpool, and there's a new character in here named da -da -da -da, Bloodrath, if you can see it. 
Very, very good story. I like Deadpool myself, and when he fights uh, Bloodrath, uh, Bloodrath is supposed to be a, a superhero fighting crime, and he kills an innocent, and he's got to live with that, it, it, with his sort of vengeance. It's it's a really, really good story. Um, following up with the gold cover, silver cover, there's a red cover out now. I'm sure there's a blue cover coming out and all those other covers. But this one was very, very good, very highly recommended. I give this one a three. This is a rainbow book. This is a rainbow book. You can get any color you want. You got it. All right, my last one this week is uh, Walt Disney's Donald and Mickey. This is issue number 20. It's from Gladstone Comics. 64 pages of top-notch, wow. top-notch Mickey Mouse stuff here. There's an ad. But this is top-notch stuff. Um, the first story is about Donald. It's from 1950. Uh, I mean, you, you look at that, and it looks just as good as anything done today. Uh, the next the next four are from Sunday. These are from Sunday uh, comic pages. It's from 1934. That stuff looks great. And lastly is a huge 40-page uh, Mickey and Goofy story that was done in the late 70s or early 80s. No definite date on it. It's uh, $2.95, uh, worth every penny, and you'd like it whether you're young or you're old. I think it's really good. I'd, I'd give it a three. Cool. Okay, I got two to go, so I'm going to make these quick. And this one I'm going X-Men 2099 Unlimited. This one was different. Um, with the foil embossed cover, it sort of explains on each of the characters and what they're going to look like in 2099 series. I don't find it as interesting as the regular X-Men series. I don't know how this one's going to stand up. It's supposedly the top seller but right now, but I think everybody's buying it just to see how it is. Um, and my prediction is it is going to slack off after a couple months, but uh, it was okay reading, but I just it didn't appeal to me. I gave this one a one. Ooh, scary. Yeah. And this one, X Men one. For this Steve. one is Remember getting that. the top rating from me. This is Colonial Marines Alien series, issue number. This is six of twelve. The artwork in this was phenomenal, as you can Opening. see by the cover. Um, it just, it just. Right. Yeah, it's very bright, very colorful, uh, very to the point. The, the coloring in there. The story is panning out a little bit. It's slowed down towards the end of the book. The front of the book, it's all you had was all the aliens attacking and everything. Towards the end of the book, they got back up on a space station. It sort of dragged out, but this one I gave a top rating to for the artwork and the way it's just made out to be in general. So I definitely gave this one a top rating. Excellent. Follow the series. All right. We've heard, uh, we've heard some good stuff about the Alien series. Yeah, a lot of people like it. Last, lastly, this week, instead of doing a industry-related magazine review, uh, I thought we'd do CD review. Now, this CD is called Supersonic Flight. It's available through mail order for $14.95. Uh, you can save a buck if you send in the ad that you saw in the magazine. So it's $13.95. There's 20 tracks of top quality music ranging from classical to heavy metal. Um, there are no vocals, it's all instrumental, and the purpose behind it is to play this while you read your comic books, to give you a theme effect, uh, you know, scenario type thing. And it's pretty good. Uh, I like it, but I wouldn't waste my money on it. I don't think it's worth uh, spending money on to listen to, your, listen to while you're playing your comics. Go buy a good Mozart or something if you want some of that. Mozart. <laughs> to listen to that while you... Go buy a good Judas Priest. <laughs> If you want, but there's no, but there's vocals in Judas Priest. Mozart, you can get a good variety of stuff. Okay. If you want to do something Satriani, like that, or you can no play vocals. your. Okay, there you go. Play your Satriani. Uh, it's nice. I mean, it's just like having a music. I listen to it, and honestly, it put me to sleep. I mean, for 14 <laughs> bucks, it's not worth it. No. Unless, unless you got a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> we'll play a couple, few seconds while we're talking here. Yeah, we'll, we'll put. Okay. If you see now, that ad, <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick review on something I got when I was in Annapolis, Maryland. This was Annapolis. A, an Annapolis. This is a limited edition Superman Doomsday, the death of Doomsday cards. This is a prototype card. Triple now, zero. Trip number triple zero. Thank you, Bumper, for giving me this. Um, we picked up a sponsor in Annapolis, Maryland. He's going to help sponsor, which is I think is fabulous. Um, what this card nationwide? tells you all about the series itself. Now, you, you can't buy the Death of Superman trading cards up here. You won't find them anywhere. I fortunately had enough to pick one up when I was in Annapolis, the whole set, and I'll be reviewing those on a later show. They're phenomenal. They're absolutely phenomenal. It goes through the whole series of the Death of Superman. 
Now, this, like I said, this is number triple zero. This is something you'll see in the QVC for sale yeah, for, for like thirty nine dollars. And it'll be signed and it'll be signed and autographed. Ninety nine. But I got this, like I said, it was donated to me, and it's fabulous. So if you're ever out of out of state and you go to a comic book shop look for some pick pick up some deals that you can't pick up here in Buffalo, because I noticed there was a lot of stuff we couldn't get here in Buffalo out there, and I'm sure there's a lot of stuff here that we can't get out there. So uh, if you're ever in Annapolis. I want you guys to stop at um, the shops. They're called the Twilight Zone. Um, I'll put the dress on the screen so everybody can see it, just in case you're out that way, and stop in and say hi to Bumper and say that you've seen us on this channel, and he'll, get, he'll cut you a great deal. So, and uh, I do have an interview with him, uh, which, you want to play it now? Uh, we should have time. We'll okay. play a couple minutes. We'll it. play a couple minutes of the interview, so here it goes. Watch this. Give us a quick countdown. Let's go again. Yeah. Just the way you guys write about, like, you're, you're thinking about what you're gonna do, or you're just gonna put it all in the shop. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> kind of funny, give right? us a give us a countdown. Yeah, we can put a few more into it. <laughs> well, because I know we're running late. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Right, Ready? Two, one. And that was Steve's interview. Wasn't that great? That was great. That was wonderful. I had a good time with him. Nice guy. Good. Um, back to this uh, QVC thing. Don't buy anything from QVC. Period. Why? Because it's a waste of money. The, the only purpose, uh, their only purpose is to make money and to make you think that the comic you're buying is worth money, so you can have something worth a lot Actually, of money. Actually, don't don't listen to Mike with the don't buy anything because when they have the different artists on there and they're selling the autographed stuff, that is cheapest price you're going to find it anywhere. Ordering it through them, I, I had the fortunate uh, chance to see some autographed copies of the Superman series, the Death of Superman series, and they were going for seventy and eighty dollars. Now you can get them on there for thirty dollars with the with the make sure if you ever buy any autographed material, make sure it has the certificate of authenticity with it because anybody can sign a book. Anybody. Well and say it's authentic. I have to disagree with with Steve about this because anybody can no matter who he is, he sign the book and yeah, here's my signature. But that doesn't mean anything. It's not personalized. It's just a signature. It's not worth anything no. to me. I don't think that's worth anything. I don't to think me it that. Is. I collect them. Uh, there's this vantage, uh, vantage. Um, I don't know if it comes out every week or what. Has information in it. It's Once for comic, co Once comic collectors. Uh, yes. It's okay if you want to make money. If you're in this to make money, that's fine. But you should be in here to collect comics for what they are. Read them. Make sure you read them. Just don't uh, buy them and throw them on the shelf. Always read your comics. I mean, that's, uh, if you're just collecting for the money, it's, a big it's, industry. it's not worth it. There's a lot out in the industry. And so. Hopefully that's why we're trying to show you some of the stuff that's worth worthwhile to read. Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll hit our previews for this week. I didn't do any, so it's all yours. Okay, Steve didn't do any because he's a butthead. Well, because I was on vacation, I really didn't have time to prepare, but Mike, Mike can pick up the three this Steve's week. Steve's lying. <laughs> okay, my uh, previews for this week. Yeah, take the camera off him. Uh, my first pick this week is Strangers in Paradise, number one of three. This is from Antar Antarctic Press. It's a black and white 32-page book by Terry Moore, uh, who used to work at Archie Comics. And as their little uh, ad and wherever it was said, uh, this is not Archie, definitely. In this story, you mix a man-hating artist, scorned girlfriend, sexually frustrated man, infatuated poet, nosy neighbor, and lots of heavy weaponry all in the same neighborhood and you end up with this uh, sounds like a novel with an interesting concept give it a try it's out this month might be out now for 275 and cool. it's it sound pretty good sound pretty good okay next one this week is brave or er, brave yeah it's new world order number five from blazer studios uh, this is also a black and white 32 page as most of my books seem to be this one goes for about 250 it's by daniel a reed this book is about what New World Order would be, an or Orwellian-type story, Big Brother, all that kind of thing. Uh, this issue begins a new storyline where the evil men order the pursuit and execution of the story's heroes. No, we don't want that. No. This looks like a decent book. The art looks pretty good, so I'd also give this one a try. It's supposed to be out later this month. Uh, this is the end of the month now, so it should be out by now. If not, take a look around. Uh, not every store carries all these small titles. Sometimes you have to order. If you see something or we tell you about something, go to your store and order it. Uh, any one of the stores will order something for you because a lot of times they won't get them. There's just too many books that come out every month. Yes. Uh, my last 
hit pick this week is a double one. This is from Bongo Comics. This one is for Jim. It's the Simpsons Comics and Itchy and Scratchy Comics. These are both number one. They're both color, full color. They both contain part of the Ultra Jumbo Bongo Universe mural. There's two parts there. Cool. Uh, in the following month, they'll probably have the other two Tongue parts. Tongue twister. Yes, it is. Uh, these books are both by Matt Groening. How did you sell this guy? I say this guy's name. What? What, what is it? Whatever the guy named. Gonig. Yeah, whatever his name is. Gonig. Yeah, Gonig the Barbarian. There you uh, go. They're both by Matt. Matt the Barbarian. <laughs> and Vance and Morrison are the other people who work on it. Uh, if you like The Simpsons, this is definitely for you. The Amazing Colossal Homer is this, is this story's tale. And if you like The Violence of Itchy and Scratchy, which makes me makes me jumpy sometimes, then <laughs> Some you'll the like they use. their book. They're both two and a quarter, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, and I highly recommend that you pick them both up. Yeah. Both of them. They're number ones, and they should be pretty good comics. Cool. I guess Matt's been looking uh, to do this for a long time. Cool. And that's it for reviews, <laughs> previews, and everything else. Yeah. Uh, we're down to our... My nose is running, so excuse me. Um, Where's it running to? It's, it's <laughs> run out. Got it. Uh. No, but... Uh, Want me to nail it in place? We'll do our, uh, our convention mentions for this week. Uh, go ahead. Okay, last weekend there were several shows we attended, including the fair and the Sheridan Hotel. Next week we'll give you a review of what happened and so on and all that stuff. Yep, about those ones. Yeah. Uh, the last show we have to talk about is happening this weekend. Started yesterday, Friday, uh, going on today. By now it might be over and tomorrow, Sunday. It's at the Thruway Mall. Yes, the mall is still open. They actually have a couple new stores there. Uh, it's a small show. And uh, I don't know, go check it out. Just a bunch of dealers. Yeah. Nobody special there. Nobody special. We'll be there. We're special, so we'll be there. Yeah, we're we're going to be everywhere. But... But uh, I guess I've done enough ranting and raving throughout this show, and <laughs> we've, we've come to the end. And remember that uh, we are the best show in the area. Yes. And uh, you can check out the other shows if you like. Some of them are stupid. Some of them. Um, One of them's on international cable ten. We're going, like I said, we're going to be within a couple weeks. We're going to be on uh, Adelphia and Jones. We're going to hit all of Western New York, and we yes. will announce when, and we will uh, have a special. We have special. a special show for that one. Yes, because we're special. Maybe we'll have a special guest. We're special. Yes. And we're working on it. Within a couple of weeks, we're going to have a, we'll be at Danger Comics doing a show there. Yes. Uh, we've got some interviews lined up. I don't know who yet, but we've got some interviews lined up, and we've got a lot more coming. Yes. So this is the la second last show of our first season. Yeah. So, so if you watch this better. every week for the last 12 weeks, we have another you're season crazy. coming on. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. We have another season coming up that it's going to be up and coming it's going to be 10 times better more people more shows more new stage new stage we'll have a whole new background we everything. have by the way if if you listen to the theme music we had theme music oh, written for yes. us we'd like to thank uh uh dave snyder and brett newmark they did yes. the, the music i wrote the lyrics fabulous song uh you heard it at the beginning of the show the end of the show you heard it a couple weeks ago and uh everything everything's starting to fall it's into gonna place stick in your head trust me yes. you'll be humming it so go ahead okay until next week, go out, buy, read, Definitely. and enjoy your read comics. Don't buy any autographs. And when you patronize your local comic shop, tell them you've seen it on Comics, comics TV. TV. See ya. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace, love, and brotherhood. <laughs>